Welcome to EZG Manufacturing's video on how to properly use our hog leg wall bracing system to brace your walls during construction. By following the plan we will lay out in this presentation, you can avoid the danger of walls tumbling over during construction. This video will show you how EZG Manufacturing's hog leg wall bracing system can reduce the time it takes to brace your masonry walls by as much as 70%. Traditional wall bracing systems require workers to climb ladders or to be boomed up in man baskets to fasten wall braces at the top location. The hog leg system eliminates these dangerous and time consuming tasks. With the hog leg system, you will be installing the brace as the wall is being built instead of waiting until the end of the day or when the wall is topped out. Work can continue as the wall is being braced. So let's get started by using the hog leg manual to assist you with your plan. Each hog leg kit comes with a manual. Please study the manual from front to back so you're familiar with any condition that may exist when using the system. Find your brace height and brace run by referring to pages 15 through 17 in the manual. For example, if the requirement of your wall is eight inch block going 24 feet high with number five rebar at 48 inch on center, your brace height is 14 feet four inches brace run is 10 feet 9 inches and your brace length is 17 feet 11 inches. Your brace run is 10 feet 9 inch so this is the distance you will need to place your dead men bottom anchor point away from the wall at your brace locations. The brace length in the chart is important as it tells you what length pipes you will need to use when bracing your wall. At a brace length of 17 feet 11 inches, one 14 foot extension and one 7 foot extension or three seven foot extensions will be required to brace the wall. When you are two courses above the brace location or 15 feet four inch in this scenario, top out wall height of 24 feet, brace height of 14 feet four inches, the worker can reach over the wall and install your wall floor brackets by pushing the T-bar through the backer plate, head joint of the block, and the wall floor bracket. The standard T-bar will work on both eight inch and 12 inch blocks. Have a person on the ground extend a 14 foot or desired length extension pipe up to the person on the scaffolding. The worker on the scaffold can pin the pipe to the wall floor bracket and the extension can be left hanging on the wall for the time being. Please note, it is very important to install the brace when you're two courses above the brace point. For if the crew does not, they will have to later go through the time consuming process of lifting someone in a man basket or climbing up a ladder to fasten the extensions at the top point. With the top extension hanging with the wall supporting the weight of it, the worker on the ground can walk the extension out to the dead man anchor point and install the bottom extension and fasten it at the bottom location. There are lots of different hole configuration options that allow the brace to be adjusted to any location without moving the dead man anchor point. Your brace is now installed. For any questions, you can call the EZG Manufacturing staff at 1-800-417-9272.